Kendra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to show you a few things that I got from Ross and then sprinkle in a few things I got from Marshalls as well. I don't usually shop at these stores, but there's the first time for everything, right? Let's hop into it. First things first, and this is so funny because I, I recently got something very similar from Torrid, but it was just like a full pullover and I kind of wanted something that had a little bit more interest. And this is a cardigan with these cute buttons. It's super fuzzy and I thought that was perfect because like a warm sweater like this, it's cute and you like it, but then when you're at work for any length of time it starts to get warm, you'd like to either be able to at least like unbutton it or take it off. So I thought this was a good, you know, compromise. This is by Sweet and Sinful. It was an extra large, it shows that um, the comparable value is $22 and I got it for $14.99. It doesn't feel like the softest, like it's soft, but not like that plush soft, but I'm hoping that'll help with it not being too hot. And I liked the pocket detail. Next thing I got was the opposite of what I just said. It's a warm fuzzy sweater that is just a warm fuzzy sweater. And I like that it's this like light tan color. It's just a nice crew neck. And if you can see just like the fluff, the amount of plush fluff that's coming off of it, that was really great. I have a sweater that's kind of similar to this. It's a mock neck, but it's a deeper color. And honestly, it's so close to my skin tone. I think I'm gonna worn it in one of the last videos. Like I like it, but it's like, that is my skin tone. <laughs> this is at least a little bit lighter. It's super soft and fluffy. It says this is by Workshop Republic Clothing. Never heard of them. It says comparable value is $29 and it was $16.99. It's just a standard, sweater and also i needed some sweaters to kind of replace older ones that i got from h&m you guys know i haven't worked there in a really long time and that is where a lot of my knitwear came from so it was probably time it's been like two three years to re-up on some like staple knitwear the next thing my sister was on the phone with me on facetime while i was shopping and i showed her this and she was horrified she's like um don't get that that's so ugly and i was like but it's houndstooth like okay so it's the black and white houndstooth oh i didn't look at that always look on pattern things guys that when it stretches the pattern doesn't warp too badly i didn't look at this i'm afraid that when i put it on it'll look crazy we'll see um it has these like contrasting trim at the collar and it's almost a bit of a mock neck i thought this would be cute either honestly with anything with blue denim and it tucked in with like a black trouser with a colored trouser black and white in a pattern is basically a neutral and houndstooth is timeless so I thought this would be perfect and it's not super, super cropped. This was by the brand Carolyn Taylor and original value is $24.99, got it for $15.99. Honestly, the savings don't look too deep here, so I don't know. This next one is just like a cute little tee. I feel like I don't have a lot of graphic tees, like a lot of mine. I, I went through that phase that everyone did, I think. I'm still in it, okay? Where I'll, all I wanted to wear really was those like white t-shirts with like red writing on them so i have a lot of that but i don't have a lot of just other general t-shirts so this one says los angeles and honestly i just liked the graphic or like the old school car um the speed limit of 45 in a what looks like residential zone it just brings me back and this was says originally 1050 or comparable value and 7.99 is what i paid oh how funny this is by the company french pastry i've never heard of it but it has like a recipe on it so it says like one tablespoon dry yeast, four tablespoons butter, four cups of flour, one cup, one fourth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and two cups of milk. It says French pastry. I want, and it has like a little cutout. Like I wonder if that corresponds with like something on their website or I don't know. Oh, and then also there's a little tags on here. So this is 100% natural cotton fiber. Oh yeah, it has that French pastry thing again. Maybe that's just like their branding is that they put that little recipe for a French pastry. But yeah, this is just a t-shirt. I liked the cut of it. It looked like really standard. It's not super oversized, but they did have a little knot in it. So I thought that was cute. And the last thing that I got from Ross was <laughs> this Nike sweatshirt, which I thought was so cool. My, I called my sister and she said that, honestly, that the things are usually from factory store and not as good of quality, which might be true, but I bought it anyway. So <laughs> this is a 2X and it, the comparable value just as much as stars, so I don't know what that means, but I bought it for $24.99. And yeah, it's just black and white, has like the V on it. I thought it was really cute. And the inside is like soft, like terry cloth. It's not like fleecy or anything, so it shouldn't be too hot. And this is the kind of thing I would like lounge around at home in. I just thought it was very cute and like, 
Nike. Hmm. So all in all from Ross, I spent 87.63. That was with $6 tax. So not too bad for one, two, three, four, five items. I feel like I've been buying a lot of clothes lately and I've also been spending a lot more on clothes, like just in general where fewer items for my money. So it's kind of nice to get some things for just less. And then I'm packing on the Marshall stuff because if you notice that Marshall's, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, they're all usually in the same block. And TJ Maxx is obviously my favorite, but they didn't have one in this shopping center. So I popped into Marshall's. I got a few non-clothing items like this Dr. Jart Shake and Shot. I see this everywhere. Everyone says it's amazing. So I thought, why not give it a try? And I like that it's powder and you add, I think you add water if I am correct. Oh, you just add the steps together. So I feel like to me that m makes it a little bit safer in case it's been there for a while. Like you mix the products together. It's not um, already activated. And so to me, that means that it wouldn't be already bad, if that makes sense. And the next thing I got mostly for the jar, but also because I tried to make hot cocoa with Hershey powder the other day and almond milk and it was disgusting. Disgusting. I think just honestly the almond milk, but this is Sim Silly Cow Farms Uniquely Vermont Natural Hot Cocoa and it's in this like glass jar that you can reuse and this is a chocolate peppermint twist. And it looks like that. So I thought it'd be really cute and tasty. This was only $4.99 and then this little Dr. Jart face mask. This is the rubber smoothing mask. Soothing, not smoothing. Um, this is $6.99. And then the two clothing items, I got this pink little turtle, mock neck, turtleneck, long sleeve. It's pretty standard. This is in a large, and this was, it says compare it 22, it was $16.99. The brand is full philosophy republic clothing and if you guys remember i recently got one that was similar to this color at walmart but i didn't love the overall look and the like, quality of it and i'm hoping this one is a little bit better so just standard again looking for pieces that i can wear through the winter with the rest of my wardrobe and then lastly this is the last item i got from either store this is a really cute little blouse it has some like lint on it it has this built-in little ruffle collar at the sleeves and the collar and a little keyhole cut out with a button here and it's just a long sleeve cute little top it reminded me of my tried and true contrast collar um sweater that i have from h&m but that's where it's getting so old it's getting kind of stretched out starting to pill a lot i've had it for three years so like i totally understand and i thought this was so similar but like a little bit different i thought this was similar but you know just a little bit different with another element so I picked this up. It is by Villa Milano. This compared to 25. I got it for 19.99. It's a large black and eggshell. Yeah, Villa Milano was the brand. And I just thought, so cute. That might be the back actually. That would make more sense if this was the front. And just for those two sweaters and then those two other little items, I spent 48.93 at Marshalls. All right, you guys, so that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it like inspired you to go out and like take a browse through your local Marshalls, Ross, what have you, because I feel like it's a good resource. Like they had a pretty decent plus size section in both, you know, and it's like designated. You can find it very easily and you don't have to like weed through. The one thing I did like is that it does separate by sizes. So you don't have to like look through and then it like nothing but your size. So that was nice. Definitely there's some hunting to be done because you know, there's a lot of like random stuff in there. But I overall thought ah, it was a good experience and I found some good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one, which should be Tuesday at 9 a.m. for a fall Target haul. Thanks. Bye. I guess ducks can be deceiving